COVID-19 is spreading exponentially in the world. Due to this, most of the countries are running out of their hospital facilities. COVID-19 affects lungs, so patients need artificial breathing unit called ventilator. In developing an artificial breathing unit, the main focus is on the quick reproduction of the unit in case of emergency. For this, I have brought an artificial manual breathing unit called AmboBack. Using this, I am going to make an automated artificial breathing unit. Let's open it and see. The main component is the bag. My person, if you can blow the air. This is the face mask. This bag is supposed to be attached behind the bag. This is called oxygen reservoir and this is another wall. And this pipe is supposed to be connected to an oxygen cylinder and the back of the bag. Silicon bag. So it has a valve here and it's another valve here. It allows the flow of air from here to inside and from here to outside. So when you press the air goes out when you release it the air goes in here from here this is the face mask so you have to keep it here like this and the bag is will be connected like this this is to be connected from here to an oxygen cylinder this is the oxygen reserve it is supposed to be connected here and this is the wall let us connect it and see i have finished almost the assembly so this is supposed to be connected here the other end of the pipe goes to oxygen cylinder the oxygen comes through this pipe and all the way comes here and goes back fill this bag now this bag will be filled with oxygen and if there is an excess pressure this valve will get open and if there is a very low pressure the other valve will get open so this is a valve for controlling oxygen pressure basically the inlet pressure to this uh, silicon bag now if you press some air will go through this and if you relax it air comes from here and this part of the body is supposed to go to the face of a patient so this can like orient in any direction and this goes here though it goes to the face So this is the protocol so when you press the air goes from here all the way in and goes into the lungs of the patient so there will be like excess pressure in the lungs and when he exhales it out the gas comes here and there's another valve here that allows the gas to go out so there won't be any backflow from here to the back the whatever the gas comes from the lungs will goes through this and does a valve and comes out of here like this to the out so this is all about it now i'm going to automate it so the basic design is there will be a, like a shaft and which is going to press it automatically uh here is my setup i use a 12 volt battery which is generally used for bike and scooters and then i use an arduino uno which is kept here so if you want i can show it so this is Arduino Uno and uh, this is a NEMA 17 stepper motor this is a V3 CNC sheet and these are like the Pololu stepper motor controller so there's a wire which is coming from battery so which basically powers this uh, stepper motor controller and Arduino through this wire and we have another wire here this is only used to, uh, for programming from computer to the Arduino. So the setup looked like this. So I used a vegetable cutting board. So I have made a couple of uh, holes and there are a few three holes to mount Arduino. There are four holes to just connect the stepper motor here. So I use a normal cable tie. This is a quick setup. This other part of the stepper motor, uh, there's a shaft and i used uh, some bush which we generally keep underneath the wooden table underneath the legs of the wooden table which is this is that bush the plastic bush and which is connected to the stepper motor uh, there's a ribbon which this ribbon is generally like whatever we have this id card tag those kind of ribbon and here is uh, two 
stand basically this is uh, what we use for mounting curtains to this uh, window the window curtain you mount this one of uh, one of the stand on one side the stand on other side and you put the rail and mount the curtain there. and the same thing and this is a wiring pvc and this is a wiring pvc t so i can connect a t here and just another pvc here so that i can have this motion at moment what it does this upper motor rotates and uh, press the ambo bag ambo bag is supposed to sit here and when it, uh, it uh, releases okay this is the uh, protocol we are going to do this process and for a better design we need to have slightly uh, shaft which is like slightly bent like this that will be a better design and if it can press from both sides that will be better design. let's look into it so i'm going to mount this this is the cnc shield to the arduino so i have already made the wiring so i've mounted the cnc shield and from one stepper motor control i have made connection to the stepper motor and this is here and this i want to interface with pc and this i want to power uh, this one okay so now the design goes like this so it's here and the ambo back so this is supposed to be inflated fine i'm going to sit like this now i have to program it so this i'll hook up to a pc fine i have already uh, written the program i just uh, burn into it so go compile and upload so this program is currently uploading through this to this one yeah I'm done compiling so we don't need it anymore fine we don't need it Being for your convenience i like keep it like this and i have to power the arduino what is its power supposed to be here yeah. i'm going to hook up to the battery and this is negative so the black one is negative it's going here and this other one is positive yeah. yeah so this is the operation so you can see when you repress it air comes out and when you relax the air comes from here to here remember uh, this ambo bag uh, this setup works fine at moment but the, like there are a lot of things to tune uh, the time of inhalation and uh, exhalation and the pause in between and there are a couple of more designs to be improved like i need to have a slightly better bending so so those kind of things has to be tuned a little bit so i'll be doing that uh, this is not a perfect system in case of emergency uh, we can use it and produce it in a large number in a very short time and that is the advantage of this so if you have any comments and any queries or any suggestions please comment below thank you thank you so much